Hey, what's up guys? My name is Achano and welcome to episode 20 of Network Chat Programming. Okay, so today we're going to talk about how the server can, I guess, distribute, well, not really distribute, but send all of the connected clients a packet that one client sends, if that makes sense, probably doesn't. What I mean is that because this is going to be like a, you know, a chat application in which a, a, like a numerous number of clients connect to a central server, that server should, of course, relay a message that it receives from any one client to all the other clients, okay? So scenario is we've got two clients connected via a server. Obviously the server is that central point. The server is where the packets of data, where, where the messages from the clients get sent. Once a ser once the server receives a packet from, from client one, the server wants to distribute it to all the other uh, clients. So client two in this case, right? Um, so that's really, that's quite easy to do, right? Because we've got this array list of all, all of all of our connected clients. So, um, it should be really, really, really simple for us to actually just go ahead and say, okay, well, if, you know, if it's a message, obviously we, we, we don't want to send details like connection packets, but of course we, we, um, we actually differentiate connection packets from message packets by using a prefix here of C, um, in uh, enclosed in forward slashes here. So our goal right now is to basically say that else, if it's any other kind of message, then in fact, we shouldn't do that, right? Because sometimes what can happen is uh, applications break and somehow a packet might get corrupted. So instead of, <laughs> instead of sending a bunch of garbage to the client, we can say that, okay, well, else if, you know, else if our string dot starts with, let's just go with M, right? Full slash M full slash. So if it starts with M, uh, we'll also make an else thing just in case something happens. But um, if it does start with M, we kind of want to send it to everything to everyone else. Now, obviously, we have a send method. Uh, no, we don't. Okay, well, we can deal with that. Um, but what we want to do is we want to basically uh, send to all. Maybe I don't know. It's, maybe that's a bit bad. Uh, send. You know, we'll, we'll just go send to all, and we'll pass in the actual string itself. Now, probably no, no point in actually passing in the string itself because we should probably go ahead and actually get rid of that. So, whoops. So string, um, I guess message equals uh, string dot substring. And again, we'll go ahead and go uh, three and then string dot length. All right, so same thing that we did here, right? And what that does is it just, it chops off the first three characters of that string. So. And this should be message. Whoops, message. Okay, so that's looking good right now. What else do we need? Um, we also, oh, that's probably about it, right? That's the actual message to send. So send to all, let's go ahead and create that method really quick. I'll just create it up here so you guys can see both of those methods. So private void send to all, and then string message. All right, so the message we wanna send here is, um, uh, well, the message that we get, right? So that, that's the easy part. So what we should do is, um, I don't think we've got a, we do have a send, uh, a, um, a send thread. Um, but what we'll do right now, just to simplify this as well, is I'll just go ahead and go, f uh, say for in I equals zero, I is less than, um, clients, I think. Yep. Dot size I plus plus. So for each of the clients, let's just go ahead and get the client. So client client equals clients dot get I. All right. So that returns the current client in our um, clients array list. So let's import the uh, the the Cherno one, of course. Um, so oh, it's called server client. My bad. Server client. All right, and we can probably uh, get rid of that import here. The uh, Cherno chat client right there. Get rid of that just to keep everything nice and tidy. So we've got the uh, we've got the server client now. So we of course know the server client's details. If we go back into server client.java, you can see that we actually know the name. Well, we don't really need the name, but we know the address and we know the port. Um, so that's good, I guess. Um, oh, there's one more thing I should probably mention. Okay, one more thing. Um, when the client sends something, this is actually perfect. The way that the client sends something is, uh, 
you can see here it sends message like get bytes. You know, let's just make sure that we do prefix it with an M first of all. So it does get identified as a message. And we can just do that simply like this. Um, actually, <laughs> whoops, that's not gonna work because I think send is going to send. Wait, what's that calling exactly? Is that calling this? What? Hang on a minute. What's going on here? How are we sending this? What's that calling? Okay, good. It's calling that. So, um, and that's sending a bot. Okay, cool. So, when we actually grab the message, we'll just make sure that we actually log the message. We, we, we don't want to do it here, but let's just make message equal over here after we print it in the console. Message equal to uh, m, forward slash, m, forward slash, plus the actual message as it was before, all right? Um, and then that'll actually send it with the uh, correct thing there. So let's go back to server now that we get that. And, and the awesome thing is, right, it, sen it sets the name and that's exactly what we want to print anyway. So we'll go ahead and we'll say, um, client, well, oh, we haven't made a send. That's the other problem. I got to deal with that. But, um, we essentially want to send, uh, it to all the clients. Okay. And that's actually really easy to do here. So what we have to do right now though, is actually make a send method. Sorry, this episode is going to be all over the place. Private void send. Okay. And again, that will be kind of ident, almost identical to the server. So byte data, but uh, sorry, almost identical to the client. You can see here in the client, if we actually look at this send um, method that we got here, it takes in a byte array of data, okay? Now, that's cool, okay? And it knows where to send it, right? It sends it to IP and port. And the reason it knows where to, where to send it is because we connect to the server. So when we connect to the server, we specify those details. Now, as a server, clients connect to us. In other words, if we want to send a packet of data, we actually have to specify for each packet of data where we want to send it. So make sure that you also have an INET address here and a port number here, okay? In our send method, and don't forget to mark byte as final. All right, so we'll import this. And then, it, then it's just a matter of send equals, I think if we go over here, then you'll see it as well. Yeah, it, it's just making a new thread here and we're sending the packet of data here. And I think that it does, yep, it is an INET address, brilliant. So we'll go ahead and make send equal new thread and we'll call this a send thread. Um, we'll have it as an anonymous, uh, well, in a body thing. Um, and of course, don't forget to actually start it. So public void run, uh, we'll make a new data packet, data gram packet, first of all, because that will actually enclose our data, of course. We'll call this our packet equals new datagram packet. Our data is our byte, uh, address is our destination, port is our thing. And we also, of course, have to specify the length of data, so data.length. So the uh, good thing here is we actually know the length already. So we don't need to go ahead and make a new uh, bit of data there. Um, so address and port, what's wrong with that? Oh yeah. So yeah, they do have to be final. The, the reason all these things need to be final is because we're actually pushing them over into an inner class here. Um, we shouldn't call it an inner class. It's more of like an inner method. Although it is an, an anyway, I'm not gonna deal with that now. <laughs> okay, so, um, and then of course we need to actually send it. And the way that we do that is we go socket dot send and a packet. And again, uh, the, the packet dictates where it needs to go because that's another thing that a lot of people, common misconception is that people think, and, and logically like it kind of makes sense in a way, people think that the socket should uh, tell the packet where to go, but that if that doesn't really make sense if you think about it a lot. <laughs> because if you picture a real world, a, a real world example here, um, it's like saying that, okay, well, when I, when I write a letter, and I put it into an, like an, an, an envelope and I send it over to, to the post office, the post office then specifies where it needs to go. Like that doesn't make sense, right? When you make the end, when you actually write the letter, you specify where it goes, right? So the letter in this analogy, of course, is the packet. So the packet, you write on the packet, this is addressed to this address. And then the post office, the socket, is like, okay, cool, I'll send it there. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. 
that was uh, some pretty good on the fly uh, creation of metaphors right there. Anyway, so uh, that should run perfectly, right? And if we go to the client, we can verify that that's pretty much all we had here and it looks exactly the same, which is great, except for these added fields. So what we have to do now is basically go ahead and say, send, so this is going to do it for each of the clients here. Send, and because, by the way, because this is a new thread, it'll allow us to do this stuff concurrently. So send, send, um, and then our byte of data here, which uh, will just be message dot get bytes. The address, which of course is client dot get, uh, we didn't do that stuff. Um, so client is our client. Let's go back to server client. Uh, this stuff is public. So that makes it a lot easier for us. So client dot address, I think it might be, um, let's go back to server client real quick. Uh, no, it is address. Cool. So client dot address and client dot port. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much it. What that will do is send the, the provided message to all of the clients. Okay, great. Now, one thing we should also do is this message. It's, uh, I didn't realize this earlier, I probably should have. Um, this message actually should probably still contain the prefix M, okay? Um, so we can forget this substring stuff and we can simply just send the string as itself, all right? And the reason we want to do that is because um, if we send it that way, we don't need to prefix it here again and, and do all those operations. We just send it with with the, uh, the full slash M at the front, right? Like that. And the reason is because the client will also receive different types of packets. So it might be like a, are you still there packet? Like a, you know, one of those packets or uh, or something like, you know, you're getting kicked or, or something like that. And then of course the client will have to respond to that um, as it does. So anyway, that's gonna pretty much wrap up this episode of network chat programming. Next time we will take a look at the client actually receiving data because we haven't done that yet. And then we'll pretty much be done. Like what we'll, we'll do, I think you guys wanted me to do other stuff like, um, like like uh, like lists that contain all the cl all the clients, and we'll also have to do after we do the uh, the connection of sorry the receiving of packets by the client, we'll also probably do uh, console commands for the server so that we can see all the everything that's um ev every client that's connected and and stuff like that, and so that we can uh, actually debug it a bit better if something's not working or kick clients and stuff like that, but um. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget that the source code is in the link below. There's a GitHub link. Uh, it's uh, just in case I forget to put it in there or something. It's github.com forward slash the Cherno forward slash Cherno chat. And there you'll find every single episode. Um, and it's, uh, well, source code. So yeah. Anyway, if you did like the video, please hit the like button. It, uh, I like it when you guys do that. So <laughs> please do that. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.